it is almost three o'clock. Here in a little bit, we're gonna start making dinner. Whoa. Like I said in my last video, I'm tired of freeze dried. So I went out and I picked up some uh, tri-tip steak, which I then put a nice dry rub over it. And then I also got some fresh green beans and cut them up so that I can steam them. And then I got some of that instant rice. It takes like 10 minutes to boil. So the green beans will be on top of the boiling rice. One pot. And then we're gonna actually gonna try to cook the steak on a stick over a fire. Should be pretty sweet. But yeah. Oh, it's so gonna be so yummy. So yummy. I just totally lost my train of thought because like I was like, oh that sounds so good. Oh so the dry rub was just normal salt, pepper, smoked paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, and then like a tiny dash of like this Montreal steak seasoning blend. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Fire roasted. Mm, mm, mm. Yes! And of course, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. Stay tuned. Here is the tri-tip steak I got from the grocery store. It has the best marbling I've seen in a tri-tip, perfect for a dry rub. The salt will break down the fat, creating a memorable melt-in-your-mouth experience. Start off by trimming any unwanted fat. Since we will be cooking them over an open fire, a bit of extra fat, that is, is a good thing. Trust me, I promise. Okay. Grab a gallon size freezer Ziploc bag and get it ready. Secondly, it's time to season the steak with our dry rub mixture. A good amount of salt. Don't be bashful, salt is king. Black pepper, smoked paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, crushed red pepper for some heat, and finally, some Montreal steak seasoning mix to finish it off. Rub it in, flip and repeat. This is my favorite combination of seasoning for any steak. Place the well-seasoned steaks into that freezer Ziploc bag. One. Two. Three. Okay, we're gonna squeeze out the extra air. And then we're gonna place the steaks in the freezer. It'll help break down the fibers and help keep the steaks cold longer, meaning easier to pack. Always clean your knife between raw meat and what's next. Promise me, always. Here are some gorgeous fresh green beans I also got at the store. God, they look beautiful. I like to cut the ends off of each pod, making them a bit shorter and easier to steam later. You could use any vegetable you prefer, as long as it can be steamed. I personally love green beans, but you could choose something different. Broccoli maybe? Up to you. After trimming them all, it's time to rinse well and package them up. Do 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 Yep, just run them under cold water. Make sure they're nice and clean. They don't need to be dry. The extra water will help keep them fresh longer in the bag. And it won't be freezing them, because that would just make them mushy. Ugh. Nobody likes mushy greens. Moving on to the rice. It's pre-packaged quick cooked rice, so just put the desired amount into a Ziploc bag for transport. Okay. Do the same with the teriyaki sauce. Pour your desired amount into the Ziploc bag. Just remember, waste sucks backpacking. Pack it in, pack it out. We're gonna squeeze out the air. Then we'll squeeze out the extra air. 
and we're going to be freezing teriyaki sauce as well. Help keep the steaks cold longer while we hike. There we go, an amazing steak dinner with sides of rice and green beans. So much better than freeze dried. Let's get back and finish getting everything set up for dinner. Need sticks for cooking the steak and a steamer for cooking the green beans. Now that is a steak stick. Should work out great. I'm happy with it. As you can see, Chris is working on his. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm modifying this can that we brought with us. Puncturing a bunch of holes in that, and I'm gonna cut the top off, and I'm gonna use this to steam the, uh, the fresh green beans. Very careful, just little holes. This will sit on top of the bag of rice and it'll cook at the same time. But what we're gonna do first though is we're gonna cook the steaks. That way they can rest while the rice is cooking. Now you want between five and ten minutes for a good rest on a steak. See those little holes? I'll let the steam up in there. I don't know. Last time I did this, I used tin foil. And it kind of worked. I figured this would be a lot better. Just be super careful about your knife not folding back in on you. does not have a lock. It's terrifying. There we go. Holes. Yeah. Now I gotta try to cut the top off carefully. I don't know where I should try to do it. A DIY veggie steamer. <laughs> Close the lid. Bingo. Awesome. Okay, before we really get going here, I want to uh, show you how simple it really is. Pocket rocket. Fuel can, or pot. And I put some sticks through the bottom of the uh, can to hold it up. Boom. There we go. That's it. Rice, green beans. And then we're going to cook the steak over the fire. So, we got to get that fire going so that way we can get some coals. Let's do this. Okay, so what we're doing now is we are building up coals in the fire so that way we can pull them forward 
and use them to cook the steak. So right now, it's just a waiting game. Gotta get a nice coal bed. Probably about 10, 15 more minutes and we should have something. It is now time to ready the steaks. So once that's done burning, it'll be the perfect bed of coals. It's time to prep the steak. You gotta get them on their skewers. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna try to skewer it. <laughs> so you just see us floating steak in the red. So now we need to cook these over the coals. Probably for a pretty good little bit. I'm saying at least 30 minutes, at least. Perfectly golden brown, cooked to taste on the inside. For me, personally, medium well. Now we let it rest. For, and then while that's resting, we're gonna cook the green beans and the rice. Okay, get the water down to a nice little simmer. Drop in the rice. Make sure there's enough water to cover it. that boil for 10 minutes and then we put this on top and we got ourselves a little steamer Okay, well, the steak came out great. The rice came out good after we saved it. On the other hand, though, the green beans did not cook in time. Put a little bit of green beans. Oh, well, good. Come on. Oh, the rice. Mm -hmm. That gets crunchy, right? Mm -hmm. Sauce. 
military on his ass. It's bomb, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The better sticks I've had. Sure Dinner for champions. Okay, well, as you can see, the green beans will be done here pretty quick. We are gonna sit back and enjoy this awesome dinner. Mishaps and all, but we saved it. Green beans are done. Oh yes, oh yes. Green beans turned out awesome. Sweet. Gotta love it when a plan comes together. Even though I spilled the rice. It's all good. We ate it. Success. Hope you learned something. Maybe even what not to do, as well as what you could do. So yeah, if you like it, subscribe. I want to do more of these. They're fun. Anyways, thanks guys.